Okay, good morning and welcome to Just Daf It. Daf Yomi Shir. We're learning the Dharim Daf Tet, number nine. The great share for you today. I was interrupted in my learning. Got a call from DHL. <laughs> they have a package for you. I, op- I ordered a pair of boots from Amazon literally two and a half days ago. And they already came. <laughs> Blundstone boots, if you're familiar with them. They're very popular in Israel. <laughs> My wife thought it was an Israeli company, Blundstone. Happens to be an Australian company. Tasmania, Australia. Tasmanian devil makes the shoes. <laughs> um, they're pretty comfortable, actually. They came, it was hard to figure out the size on the computer, but thank God I got the right size. I'm wearing them now. You're not going to see them. I'm going to put out a special short video of the unpackaging of Blundstone boots. I think they're nice boots. I always wanted a pair of Chelsea boots. If you don't know what Chelsea boots are, stay tuned for the short where it will show you what the boots look like, saving it for there. Anyway, I'm wearing them now. I feel pretty good. They asked me in the base medrash to do a dance. I did a dance for everyone in the base medrash. Lit up the, lit up the morning. <laughs> it's not a night here. lit up the morning. So everyone enjoyed it. And let's get started. I feel pretty good. And actually, add extra a uh, couple inches to my height. So, you know, now I can think on basketball. <laughs> All right, the mission says, Can you can you show him Nadar bin Nazir of Karban Ashua? If you preface your Nadar, <clears throat> see, it's not exactly a Nadar, there's only three cases over here. You say, Can you show him? Right? It, it's effective as a Nadar for an Azirus, meaning it's effective in the Azirus, it's effective to Mechaev you to bring a Karban to the base of Migdash, and it also affects Ashua if you preface your Nazirus, Karban, or Shua. With the words Kinidra Rishayim, it's effective. Kinidra Ksherim, if you preface your nether by saying Kinidra Ksherim, kosher people. When you learn kosher people, you usually don't make Nidharm. It's not a good thing to make Nidharm. Lom or Klum, it's not effective. Kinidvosam, if you say not Kinidra Rishayim, Kinidvosam shall Ksherim. A Nidava is basically what, the difference between a nether and a Nidava. A nether, you accept a Chrayis if the thing gets lost. Or if an onus happens, you have to replace it. Uh, Nidvosim, you don't have to. Another but another a korban and a dava, that does work to mechayvim and zeros and a korban. We'll see more in the Gemara to explain exactly what this means. The Gemara says, "Vadilma, haki kamar." Right? What does he mean to say? Kinder reshayim lona darna. He just says kinder reshayim, right? Nazir, right? He, well, the Gemara is assuming he just says kinder reshayim. So kinder reshayim, like the Midrash Sharm. I'm not saying I'm not a Russia. I'm not taking an there. We're gonna learn. I'm showing him taking a dar. He adds an extra word. He says, Kinnidr Shaim Harani. Uh, as the Gemara explains, Harani bin Aziras. When he says the words Harani, he means in Aziras. Alai, when he adds Kinnidr Shaim Alai, he accepts upon himself, on his shoulders, to be a carbon. He's, having, he's pledging a carbon. Kinnidr Shaim Hemanu, right? We learn he's talking about is a piece of bread, a loaf of bread in front of him. The Shvua, he's taking a Shvua not to eat a loaf of bread. So the Gemara further analyzed Harani Nazirus, Dilma Harani Batinus Kamar, right? Even if he says Kiddush Shem Harani, why do we assume it's Nazirus? Maybe Harani, I am, and a Tinus. He's saying, my honest, all the Tinus, not a Nazirus. I'm a Shmuel Akshaya Nazir over the Fonda. We're talking about a unique case in our Mishnah where there's a Nazir passing in front of him. How often do you see Nazirus? I don't know, not too often, but that's the case of the Mishnah. There's a Nazir passing in front of him, so we assume, all right, Shmuel holds, you need Yadai Mokikos. This is Yadai Mokikos because. You have a Nazir passing in front of you. So the Gemara continues questioning. Hey, Mano is Bishvua. If you said, Kinder Shem, hey, Mano, so therefore you took a nether not to eat the bread. Dilma, hey, hey, Mano, da Chilakar. Maybe it means he just had a Mano from it. And he pledged, he made an oath not to not eat it, to eat it. Amar Rav, the Amar, hey, Mano, Shalom, Ochel. He actually says, hey, Mano, that I'm not going to eat it. That's obviously a good Shvua. What's the Kiddush? Not the same uh, Haldo Mapik Shwomi Pume. He didn't actually say the word Shwo, he said Knidrishai. Right? Hey Mono. So the text is actually Hey Mono is the Lashana Shwo. It's an Isra on the Gavra. Hey Mono on me on the Gavra. It's a Nether on the Khefsa. Kamash Malan Hadain, nonetheless, we teach you that because he said Hey Mono Shalo Ochel, that's enough to confirm that it's a Shwo. Knidrik Shayra Lamar Klum Knidvosa. Nadir. Benazir or Korban. Montana, the Shaila Ben Nether and Dava, obviously, right? By Ksherim, a Nadova is effective. If he uses the word Nadova, it's effective. And Nether is not effective. Who's the town who holds this? 
Lema lo re mei, lo re behuda. It's neither the opinion of mei or of behuda. The sanya we have a brisa. Tov asher lo sidor. These are psukim, I believe, in Koheles, I think, uh, talking about making a darim and a davos. So what's the best thing? There's three possibilities. Either you don't make a darim at all, you make a nether, and you're makayim the nether, or you make a nether and worse, and you're not makayim the nether. So, tov. What's the best thing? Tov asher lo sidor. Tov mizam mizesh and no dar kol ikra darim mei. Mei says it's better not to make a darim. Then to even make a net there to bring a carbon and bring the carbon. But you don't merit told me that was there. I know the Michelle. You don't argue the best thing to do. Obviously, the second best thing to do is not take a net there. The worst thing to do is take a net there, not be Mekayimit. The best thing to do is take a net there and to be Mekayimit. <clears throat> so you see, you might a Dharam, right? There's no, it doesn't talk about the Dhaf over here. It's might a Dharam, right? That if uh, we say Nether of a Ksherim, right? Can it vote? You have to say, Right? According to Rabbi Yehuda, it would be effective. Sheirim would be effective. According to Rabbi Meir, right, the best thing not to know there, but what a Nedava, the Mishnah says, would be good. So it doesn't make a distinction. It sounds like Rabbi Meir would hold. Both the Nedar and Nedava are not good. So the Mishnah says, the Mishnah says, you could even say Rabbi Meir. The Gemara on the Yehuda is going to explain you can even say Rabbi Yehuda. We're dealing in this stuff with Rabbi Meir. Kikamar Rabbi Meir, the top of Tanam Abiz, the Nedar. The Nedava lo Kamar, you're only talking about Nedar. And the Dava, when you use the Lush and Dava, that's different. That, the best thing to do is take the Dava and to fulfill it. Vahaka Sani can invoke some, another Menazir of Karban. Right? When he says can invoke some, Nadar, right? He uses the Lush and Nadar. It's the Lush of Nether. So the answer is Hani Nada of Menazir of Karban. You have to fix around the Lush and the Mishnah. It's not exact, not precise. The real language should be Nada of Menazir of Karban. Maisha Nether, the low. So the Mara says, according to the mayor, Nether is not a good thing. Dilma Asibal, he said the Kola. If you take a nether to bring a carbon, right, you might come. I say, I'm going to bring, I guarantee I'm going to bring a carbon shlamim, right? <clears throat> so you might come lead it to First of all, it's balta'acha. You might not bring the carbon. Second of all, I have a concretized animal right now. Uh, well, actually, another is balta'acha. You haven't concretized the animal right now. Now, dava nami, lo, dilma asi, but Dava, there's a different problem in a dava. If I specify. This animal brings a carbon. Not only is there about the acher, but also the animal is hectic right now, and I can do meila before it comes to base amigdash. So the Gemara says, "Kill al zaki, like kill al zaki." And we're talking about a case where he does it. He takes an adav on himself the way hill al zaki took a, an adav on himself. The sanya, omro amro al hill al zaki, and shalom al adam me olaso koyamo. When he wanted to bring a, a nidvas ola, he wanted to don an ola, which goes completely to kaddish baruch Hu. Maybe actually chulin la azari would bring the animal. Without concretizing it to the Azar, the base of Megash, from Akdisha. And he mocked this shit right outside the Azar of Somechala, and he would really lean his hands upon it, Vishokta, and he would shecht it. So therefore, there was no chance for Meila. So there it says, Anicha and the Dove of the Karbonos, right? It mentions that you can have two cases that are acceptable a Karbon and a Zeros. And Dove and the Zeros, Michael and Maymar. How could you stop the Dove and the Zeros? When I take the Zeros by myself, a lot of problems get out with your Zeros. Right, you become Tomei. We're going to see the Gemara says you become Tomei. Uh, people regret taking the Naziras and maybe it removes the status of the Naziras from them. And maybe Chul and Lazara, they're bringing at the end of your Naziras, you have to bring Karbonos. Also, if you become Tomei, you have to bring extra coin. You did a sin by becoming Tomei. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Ma'ikala Memar. So, this is our mission. Hold like Shimon Atzadik, the Sanya. Amar Shimon Atzadik. Shimon Sadik said, Miyamai lo achalti Asham Nazar Tami. I never ate an Asham Nazar Tami. When a Nazar becomes successful on self in the zeros. And one of the things he can't be is Tami Le Mace. He comes Tami Le Mace. He has to not only start his 30 days counting again, but also he has to bring Karbonos. He has to bring an Asham, right? And he has to bring two birds, Chatas and Nola. Uh, so he has to bring three Karbonos. He never would eat, even though he was a Kohen, he wouldn't eat the Asham Nazar Tami. He didn't want to lend credence to the practice of taking the zeros. Only one time he did Pamachas, but the Mechem Nazir Menador, the Nazir from the south, from the Tivos, the Baba Sach. Joke. Nazir Tame, Allah, Pamachas, but the Mechem Nazir Menador, or easy to show you off a night. I saw he had nice eyes. The Tov Roi, he looked good. He was a handsome guy. The Putos of Siduroslo, Taltolim, he had long hair, beautiful blonde long hair, like a Yada Shachar. You know that is Kolaba. It's very, very annoying. I, you know, I'm watching this whole season of Kolaba on YouTube. This is Jewish the Voice competition. Uh, music of Hasidish, Hasidish music. 
the winner, you know, they had the grand finale. I got up to watch that episode, and they cut out <laughs> the ceremony at the end where they told you who won. You watch a whole season of all these episodes, and they cut it out of the YouTube video. They ended the video prematurely. You don't find out who won. I was shocked. I'm like, what the heck? You know, one of the finalists, the reason I'm bringing this up, one of the finalists looked like a nausea. I mean, he was a, a guy from Haifa, a 16-year-old kid. Blonde, long blonde there. He was a good-looking guy. When I think about Nazar, I think about that guy, but he wore a nana a long ago. But anyway, it was just, it was crazy. They cut it out. I'm like, what the heck? How? The YouTube video, they didn't realize it, and they turned the comments off because it, there would have been a million comments. Where is the ending? You know, you you watch, there's there's like 20, there's, there's 27 videos of season three, and I watched a lot of them, not all of them, but most of them. And you're waiting for the grand finale. Three contestants left. They all give their performances. They're about to hand in the envelope, and then they cut it short. They cut it off. They don't put it on YouTube. How can they not? How could you cut that off? You know, so anticlimactic. It's crazy. I'm, like, trying to think. It wasn't just a mistake. I mean, these people are putting it on YouTube so people can see it and people can enjoy it, you know, and to build up the brand, I guess, you know, of this, of this competition. I was shocked they took it out. The only logical... Uh, conclusion that I came to was that it had to be under the auspices of rabbis. This is, you know, the rabbis, you know, told them, listen, who's listening to this to this competition? A lot of yeshiva bachar. Not every yeshiva bachar just learns Torah all day. They're into music also, Jewish music. I have a brother-in-law learns in yeshiva. He's very into Jewish music. And <clears throat> they're watching this. They're listening to this. The Rabbanim said, you know what? Put it all on YouTube. YouTube is not obviously a place people, Rabbanim want Yeshiva Bakram, let alone every from person to be part of, but put it on YouTube. There are those people that want it or need it. But you know what? Cut out the end to show them that, yes, there's nice musical performances. You can enjoy the music. Music's meant to be enjoyed. But it's not life's not a competition. This is not important. It doesn't matter who wins. Ruin it for them. Ruin their enjoyment. Make sure they don't enjoy this too much. They don't go on YouTube and start getting addicted to videos like Eric. <laughs> And Big Doors TV, they don't get addicted to those things. You know, make sure. Make a guideline over here. It has to be. This is the only conclusion. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this is what logic I conclude. Uh, I mean, if, if it's true, I said to my wife, I said, listen, the next time I meet Menachem Toker, who's the host of this show, um, I will ask him this question personally, what the heck happened on YouTube that you took at? I did not see the end of season one and season two, which is also on YouTube. I had to see if they cut it out also. Um, but they cut out the end. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Um, so I have to find out, get to the bottom of this, why they did this. Uh, that's what I suspect. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong, but there's no, it's not a mistake that they left it out. I mean, it was purposely done that they cut out the end, uh, which is the climax of the whole season. So I don't know what happened. But anyway, that's what we're talking about. This guy, Yoyada Shachar over here. I did find out who won because I... I actually saw the unabridged version on the plane last year. I didn't know what I was watching. Then I got into this call, bah, and I saw that one of the guys won, and then I, 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 I looked up on Wikipedia. I saw one. Anyway, this guy came in second place. He didn't win. <clears throat> um, tal Tal, I'm Arti Lo, Bani. He said to him, Bani, Mara Izzel, Ahashka, Sarka, Zeh, why are you becoming a Nazir? You're ruining your beautiful hair, but you have to shave your head after the Naziris. <clears throat> Hana, Amar lo roi hahisa aisi la abba ba'iri. I was a shepherd for my father in my city. Halachli l'malas mayim in amayin. I went to fill up water from the well. When I stuck out the bavua shali, I saw in the water my reflection. A pachas al yitzrei. My yitzrei took over me. But kish lo chenini min haolam. It wanted to make me haughty. But I looked so beautiful. Amarti lo Russia. I'm a tamiz gaba olam sheina shachaya. Said to myself, you're a Russia. Why do you have pride in a world that's not yours? Mishad hu ati litid. Leo's Rimo Tolea, you're going to end up being the father of worm and maggots. Havoda Shagalcha Shamayim, the least I can do is to become a Nazir, and when I finish my Nazir, I'll shave my head and I'll bring it as a carbon to you. We had a monitor in Shakti of Rosho. When Shona Tadak heard this story, he stood up and he kissed him on his head. I'm Martin Lobini, Kamocha Yerbu Nazir and Nazir is Israel. Nazir is not a good thing, but people, for you, when you're doing a safeguard against your Yazar, it's a good thing. Alecha Kasavomer Ishki Afilindor Nezer Nazir Lahazir Lahashem. 
Yafli is a lashon of a pella. I once heard the Eben Ezra says, Yafli is a lashon pella. It's a wonder. It's a special thing to become a nazir. That explanation works for this guy. Normally, it's just a bad thing. We'll see. But for this guy, it's a good thing. So in that case, right, he would eat the Asham Nazir tongue. So if you're a person that you're taking the Zizers upon yourself in order to safeguard yourself from Yitzhar Hara, because people are going to think you're so beautiful, so then it's a good thing. And then in that case, it's a Nadava of a kosher person. He wouldn't eat the Asham of Nazir Tameh. Every asham you bring, there's five ashamos, you bring them on a sin, so why would he eat those? I'm the Rabbiona, I knew time, uh, the reason is not that he need the asham nazir because it came on a chet, or sin, because it became tame. <clears throat> the real reason is a far greater concern, kashain toe in nozrin, right? When they get, you know, very from, they they take an asham nazir, kashain metamit, and then they can't keep the naziris, and they become tame. <clears throat> they visit those cemeteries, you know, there's parties in the cemeteries. They can't get out of the cemetery. They have to take Rabbi and they have to take the Zeros again and again and again. They have to fill in Zeros. Mischarat and Bahad, they regret taking the Zeros. Technically, Charat works to remove a net. It also works to remove a Zeros. Venim Sumavian, Chul Nazar, when they do complete their Zeros and they bring the three Korbans and the Zeros, it's invalid. It's Chul Nazar. You can't be mocked as an animal unless you're in the Zeros. Once you did the charat, I have to discuss this more maybe in this Masech, or Masechah's Nazir, right? They're, they're no longer in the zero, they already revoked their Naziras, so they're bringing Kul Nazara. So that's a far greater uh, Avera to bring Kul Nazara. Um, that's why he was upset with the constant zeros. Even someone who's a Nazir Tor, you shouldn't eat their Karbonus after they clear the Naziras because there's a chance, right? They might become Tame, and they're going to. Regret their Naziras. The Gemara says, Nazir Tar lo, Damude Amin Nafshid Yachal Indar. The fact that he completed his Naziras shows that he's a person that figured out I could accept upon myself as Naziras. And even though maybe he became Tommy in the middle, the fact that he completed it, or actually we're talking about presumably just a Nazir Tar, he, he pledged Naziras and he completed it without becoming Tommy. So therefore, we can assume he didn't regret his Naziras, and therefore, to eat from his korban is not going to bring people to do averas, bring kul and azara. That's the conclusion of today's year. Stay tuned for Ian with Ben Sion. We'll analyze the Mishnah on Daftet. Why didn't it talk about Nidrek Sheir? Why well, Nidrek Sadikim? Nidrek Sadikim. If you want to hear an answer to why it doesn't say Nidrek Sadikim, stay tuned for Ian with Ben Sion. Coming up next.